Hello everyone. Today in this section I will be having a look over sensor MQ6000 and I will be going through it features working applications and so on. For that uh, go to controleverything.com and click on the search button for this sensor. So we got MQ6000 AK MQ6050. It's a 6 axis motion tracking sensor. It's a 3 axis gyroscope and 3 axis accelerometer digital motion processor sensor. So these are some of its features as you can see on my screen. I will be interfacing this sensor with a particle photon today. So require a code. Go to resource tab and here is our particle code sample. Click on the particle code sample and you can download this code as a zip file here. Now you can also have this code from our github repository that is control everything community. Next we require the connections for the hardware for this project. Now let's have a look over the hardware setting part where we require the connections. Uh, first of all we require a particle photon which you are able to see on my screen and this is an I2C shape. It's available on our website controleverything.com and it's very useful in making connections with other I2C devices and rather make them easy. So gently insert the particle photon over the I2C shield like this and connection is completed. Now we require our sensor that is MPU6000 and this is a connecting cable. Make a connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fact goes for the I2C shield. Now to power up our particle photon we require a micro USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. Now this is the connection part we have just completed. Well let's have a look over the interfacing of our sensor MQ6000 with a particle photon. So we require a code. For that go to github.com and here search for control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Click on it and here search for that sensor MPU6000 and here it is. And this is our required particle. Let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to log into our photon and set up our device and this is the particle link which will help us to start and connect our photon clearly. Please have a look over this. And in the next part we have to download or get pull the code and we have to copy the code on the online ID and this build particle link will help us to copy and build our link and the code. Next and the last part is verify and flash code on our photon and the dashboard link which is used to get our code output. So this is how a particle photon works with the code. Now get back to the particle code and here is our particle code with dot .in extension. In the first part we have included the libraries which are required and the address of our sensor is 0x68. Here we have initialized the variables as you can see and in the void setup function we have the variables as already defined. Here we have initialized serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600 and in the writing part section we have our gyroscopic configuration register having address 0x1b and we have selected full scale range equal to 2000 dps which goes for 0x18 and the next section we have selected accelerometer configuration twice to having address 0x1c and the full scale range is plus minus 16g which consists 0x18 furthermore we have our power management register having address 0x6b and we have selected pll with x0 reference for 0x01 so this is how the writing part is done. Now coming to the next part, we have data register for 0x3b and we have requested and read 6 bytes of data from this very register. And this is the conversion part for the acceleration data we have just read as you can see for x, y and z axis. Similarly, we have followed the suit for gyroscopic rotation and from the address 0x43. Requested and read 6 bytes of data and this is the conversion part of the data for gyroscopic rotation for x, y and z axis. At the end of our code we have our output data displayed on the dashboard in the form of acceleration which is in x, y, z axis and the rotation in the x, y and z axis. 
So this is how our particle code works. Now let's see how it works with our sensor. For the working part, first of all, copy this entire particle code as you can see and open up the build link as described earlier. Now the link is opening. And we will name it MPU6 power. And paste the code and save it. Now verify the code for the verification and now flash the code. For the successful flashing, we have to require and check for the magenta flash which will come up. And here comes the magenta flash as you can see on the screen. Now open up the dashboard user log as you can see on my screen where we will get the output data. And here it is as you can see the data is coming in the form of acceleration and rotation in x, y and z axis respectively. Now when I am trying to rotate it slowly in one direction there is a change in acceleration and rotation. Similarly rotating and changing the position of the sensor the acceleration and rotation in x, y and z axis changes respectively. So this is how our code works with our sensor and the particle photon. Now let's proceed further. So we have just seen the working of motion tracking sensor MPU6000 being the world's first integrated 6-axis motion tracking device that combines 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer and digital motion processor in a small package. It's being adopted by smartphones and tablets manufacture. They find use in large applications like enhanced gaming, augmented reality, vehicle, pedestrian navigation and so on. This product is available on our website controleverything.com and the particle code can be downloaded from this website. The code is also available on our GitHub repository that is control everything community. In case you have any queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to comment or post your queries on our community page also. For more articles and blogs, you can reach us on hexta.io and contact us on instructables.com. To have more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a good day and thanks for watching.